Welcome back to Dawn of Man. I'm Siege Plays. We have gotten our uh, wall started here. It's actually quite far along. We have this one set up as well. We have our farm set up and we are rolling. So pretty soon we'll be able to put up our platforms near the entrance so that we have a little bit better chance of uh, guarding cave line attack. Yeah, yeah. Cave line attacking what? The Oryx? <laughs> Bad choice, friend. Yeah. Oh. I'll go ahead and mark that for being butchered, because why not? We didn't kill it, but that's alright. Looks like we're going to miss one, yep, well, two crops, I guess. We'll wait until they clear all that stuff off there. I kind of like how sporadically they build. There's no system of like, hey, let's start on this side and work our way over. It's just like random, random pieces. But while we're at it, we might as well just... Might put another gate over there, actually. It's not a terrible idea. We do, like, right there, maybe? not really necessary, but it's also not unnecessary, you know? So. Need another one. I guess when they're going diagonal, you have to take out four instead of three. And I really need them to get this tree out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Go ahead and start building the wall on this side. But I think I'm going to have it go up like that. And around. I don't really care about whether or not that stone gets harvested. This just gives us some extra space to work with over here. Plus we can put like a min here or something up there. Let me sneak past this tree. We can't. That's okay. Actually might just uh, fill in the gaps that way. Cool. So now we have like a whole perimeter. We'll go ahead and put our platforms up, I guess. Why not? Oh, I bet you it's the haystack that's the problem. On there. On there. On there. Be able to put another one there, there. Did I not put one there? That's kind of annoying. That's not what I wanted to do. Put one on the outside. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We can put a tower over there if we want. Actually, let's wait until we get that area figured out there. Go ahead and create a few more sledges. We have a decent amount of adults right now. We need more for them to carry stuff around in. We'll 
go ahead and replace another house. And we should be able to replace... Yeah, there's enough room, so let's go ahead and upgrade that as well. We have one, two, three more houses, four more houses to upgrade. Are we still getting logs from over here? We should be, yeah. Put another tree gathering area over here. Probably want to clear off this area as well eventually. I like to try and plant the fruit trees in places like this where other crops won't grow just because take advantage of all the available space, right? Yeah, so see, they're always going to try and plant these first. Did I not mark these for- I did not mark those as high priority. So see, they'll get these ones first, and then these ones, and then these ones here. But the interesting thing is, it'll only mark so many of them at a time. Like, see how these ones aren't marked yet, these ones aren't marked yet. I don't really get why. Uh, yeah, let's go with Megalithism. We'll go ahead and get one... One close by, wasn't there? Thought. One there. The other side there. On that side of the river, there's one right there. Um, not close, but we'll go ahead and go with that one for now. Alright, getting closer and closer to the Copper Age. I will probably put a few houses over here just so that there's activity, so that there's more people on this side. Because we won't need to fill this whole area with granaries and whatnot. Our workload is really high right now though. And this at least gives us plenty of room where if, like, we need the extra room for buildings, we could expand, we could put the wall out here, and we could just move all of our crops. It'd be a pain, but it would be doable. Yeah, yeah, I know. Workload is too high. I think the next couple houses we build will be over here. Just a couple of them. We could also put some stables over there, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Getting a little ahead of myself though. Uh, so as far as the megalith, when we're done with it, we want to put it... We don't want to put a stone circle right here anyway, I don't think it could fit. Um, but we can put one of these looking out over the city. Wouldn't be a bad place for it. Right there. As far as the stone circle goes, we will need to build it, but... I don't really know where. 
It'll give us a lot of prestige, so it's good to have it, you know, at some point in the near future, but... I always put it somewhere, like, over here. Maybe. I kind of want to expand the city that direction a little bit, though. I wonder if we couldn't put it, like, if we chopped the trees down, if we couldn't put it up here. We could probably just go ahead and upgrade the rest of our houses. We'll maybe wait until we have more of the resources for that one, though. Because I think if the population reaches its capacity... No, there are still pregnant ladies. Yes, please get rid of these so I can actually see what's going on over here. Well, the trader can wait. Go for the platform there. I can. Cool. I mean, we could also technically put a gate there, but I don't know if we really need three gates on this side. Not a bad idea, though. I don't think we'd be able to build platforms here on this edge. I guess we kind of could. I mean, that would give us easier access to stuff over here instead of having to go all the way around, or when we eventually build the wall across here, or down to here. Uh, yeah, let's... Hmm. Not terribly hard to readjust, so... Let's go ahead and... leave both sides and figure out which one's easier. We really could put it either either side here. Do there, I guess, then. I'll do... Oh, can we not do a platform there? I guess we'll do one there and one there. Not exactly an ideal position for defending, but we can also put towers there. Yeah, that'll be right. All right, so that should be a complete perimeter. We'll go ahead and at least drag this wall down to the water then. And we really shouldn't, should not take that much longer to get it done. Raider attack, all right. They're coming from this side. Only five of them. Closing the gates really does not make any sense at this point in time. Got a bunch of dogs over here now. Yeah, we'll be good. Everybody got over here with relative ease, so I'm not... not worried.
That's like most of our town right there. Don't you dare trample on my crops. Scared? Who's going to win? It's 1v1. Super intense over here. Oh. So, you kill her and then run away. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Nice thing is, whatever they drop, um, we get to take. So, like, spears and whatnot. Those are ours now. Okay, so that house is being completed. We lost a couple people. Now we still don't have that megalith mine. You can tell because it'll show up in the resource area here. Once it's complete anyway. Oh, our granary's full already. We'll have to build another one. So yeah, all we have left is well digging and pig domestication. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we still haven't finished the storage hut here. <laughs> Oh, gore gore. Get better, gore gore. Repairing granary, all right. I don't want to put down another tree gathering area because I feel like our workload is already too high. Got peas, though. Okay, now that we have flax, I think we can officially go ahead and stop making that. Because we really won't need that much flax yet. And I think we can go ahead and... I don't want to... Well, let's build another... One more weaver. Room for it over here. I want to try and squeeze stuff in as much as possible. Uh, we could put it right there. Let's do that, yeah. So once we have enough, uh, like, wool and whatnot coming in... Actually, no, no, we will stop creating both of those and we'll just keep an eye on our stock and make sure that it doesn't uh if we start not having enough warm clothing then we'll then we'll change our mind on that but for now we don't need to be creating both just makes extra jobs for people yeah workload is too high I don't want to get rid of this field yet, though. Can't wait until we get a workshop. That'll just be producing sledges for us. Alright, wells or pigs? I don't think it really matters. Let's do wells, I guess, then. one there. Oops. Put one there. 
and that'll be good for now. Actually, does building three give us a point? Oops. Guess we'll see once we complete the first one. Oh, our megalith is ready to go. Well, not quite. It's chopped, but we need to actually put it on a transport. Raider, what have you got for us? Not really anything that we need. Mission is high, so we really don't want to do that because it's going to cost us like 300. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. We don't need straw. We don't really need any outfits. We don't really need skins or leather anymore because we're not we're we're doing fine on them. What's our limit for leather set at right now? Twenty. All right. Yeah, I mean our workload is high, but it looks like we're doing we're getting everything done that we need to. Really want to finish this wall though so we can build our flint mines although we really don't have any particular need for them at the moment easily have all of our resources harvested here. There are pigs, we could tame them, but I don't really feel like it. Maybe once we get to like 60 or 70 people, but... We're doing okay on meat, we're doing okay on skins. That would be the only reason for me to domesticate pigs. Because if we did it, we would probably have to put down another straw field, and right now our uh, our workload is just too high. We are gathering stone from this right here. Yeah, people are keeping busy. I might just during the winter if we have a low moment mark a bunch of trees for chop chopping. All of our resources are harvested anyway, so or all of our crops are harvested, so we might as well go ahead and mark a few. These will all grow back, so. Really does not hurt. And yeah, we'll just mark a bunch of them, why not? Except for the ones that provide fruit and whatnot. I don't know which ones we're harvesting. Alright, that should be more than enough. At least to finish this side, I hope. What are we doing on houses? We are still working on this one. Uh, let's go ahead and replace this one. Come on. And these sledges, they degrade so fast. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. Not enough stable space. We're taking care of it. Need to keep building up those wool outfits. What's going on here? Yes, we can go ahead and put a stone gathering area here too to get this one out of the way. Those two, I guess I should say. It's like listening to The Sims talk. Oh, I was wrong. We wouldn't have been able to domesticate those pigs anyway. We don't have pig domestication yet. Thank you for building the platforms, but can you build the wall? Those platforms are kind of useless until you do. Eventually, we'll have platforms running all along the outside. I'm still trying to figure out what the best strategy is for the gates. Because it seems kind of useless to leave a whole group gathered back here, but I guess they're ready to go when they break, because these gates break down pretty easy. Alright, we got another weaver. That's good. that's up and going. We have another hut coming up. I have two, actually. Got the well. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And we'll need to build one more to get that last point. I don't think we have any more storage huts to upgrade. We're good on that front. I'll have a bunch of trees I have marked to chop down. Come on, guys, let's get going. Now, the interesting thing about the Copper Age is that the most of the copper tools have the same stats as the flint and bone tools, so we won't right away cut out making flint and bone. I think we have to wait for bronze for that. And the same thing will happen with iron. The iron stuff is not really much better than the bronze stuff, but the steel stuff is, so. I really want you guys to finish this palisade so that we can start getting some flint mines down, though. Not that they're necessary, because we are still up to our limit on flint right now. See, I really need you guys to chop those trees because now we're going to have a super high workload going into the spring. We have three fields to plant. If it goes above 200, I'm just going to unmark a bunch of these trees, I guess. We're so close. Oh, it's right at 200. If it stays where it is, I'll just leave those trees marked. Really, once they chop down the ones that I have marked, they really should uh, be able to finish the walls, I hope. Oh, hello. We have a trader coming in. Hi. Welcome. I don't know why you didn't take the bridge, but all right. 
Um, what do you have for me here? Not really anything besides the wool cloth that I need, and we really don't even truly need that. So I think you can just do your thing. Alright, well, I know this episode wasn't terribly, terribly exciting. I'm going to see if we can't wrap up. We can get one more point within the next minute or so. Which I'm hoping we can. And we'll wrap the episode there. Trying to figure out what I could do. Let's see. Is there anything I can do quickly for a point? Two out of five. Um, two more skull poles. We need another granary or two. Flint mine. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and just plop down a couple of buildings that we don't have quite yet. So like one of those. Uh, we can put down... We'll need two more of them anyway, so we might as well just put down two more granaries. Can we put a tower behind that? Yes, we can. Alright. Wait. So put down two more granaries here. We'll see if we can't get another point. should have a... That's probably why our workload is so high, because we're still working on this thing. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> how small that is. It's funny. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. Looks like we're kind of close on some of these things. Eh. Nothing that we can do quickly. Oh! There we go, for the rolling megalith. You got it. Uh, boom. Big domestication. So, we're going to go ahead and call it there, guys. In the next episode, I'm really hoping we can get into the Copper Age and start start working with metal. Um, yeah, I mean, we are slowly but steadily expanding. We're going to have to start building new houses once we get these ones finished. Um, but yeah, we're going to start being able to um, grow our population quite rapidly once we start getting into metal and we are able to make better tools. So thank you guys so much for joining yet again. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.